Hello, my name is Mitsuru Nagata. I am the manager of the Department of Endoscopy in Shonan Fujisa Tokushukai Hospital, Kanaga Prefecture, Japan. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our article that has been published in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. The title of our article is Usefulness of Underwater Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection in Saline Solution with a Monopolar Knife for Colorectal Tumors. I am the first author of this article. Generally, colorectal ESD is performed with a monopolar knife with CO2 supply from an endoscope. There are few case reports about underwater ESD in saline solution only with a bipolar knife. The present study is unique because it used a monopolar knife in saline solution for underwater ESD for the first time. Next. I would like to explain the clinical significance of underwater ESD using PowerPoint. The benefits of underwater ESD are good visualization, buoyancy, and heat sink effect. This is a view of conventional ESD for colorectal region with severe fibrosis. The boundary between the submucosal layer and the muscle layer is unclear owing to severe fibrosis and halation. Submergence enables detailed observations through a natural zoom effect and the disappearance of halation. Therefore, the boundary between the submucosal and the muscle layers becomes clear. This effect may prevent perforation owing to the misrecognition of the layer. Generally, in colorectal ESD, the patient's posture is changed to place the region on the upper side of gravity. Because opening of the mucosal flap becomes easier owing to gravity. However, if the maneuverability of the endoscope becomes poor, while the approach to the submucosa becomes difficult, such as positioning vertically opposite to the muscle layer. ESD should be performed with the patient in a posture that results in the region appearing on the lower side of gravity. In such a case, the opening of the mucosal flap can be obstructed by gravity. Moreover, it becomes easy to submerge the region halfway owing to gravity. So the existence of a boundary line between air and water obstructs the visual field. By switching from conventional ESD to underwater ESD, complete submergence provides a clear visual field. Opening of the mucosal flap is achieved owing to buoyancy, and the approach to the submucosal layer becomes easy. Furthermore, the use of the water pressure method with underwater ESD makes it easier to approach the submucosa. It is a very useful technique for cases of severe fibrosis. The heat sink effect may prevent derailed perforation by reducing damage to the muscle layer. However, derailed perforation hardly occurs in colorectal ESD unlike the duodenal ESD. The clinical significance of performing underwater ESD in colorectal ESD to obtain the heat sink effect is not very high. Thus, the purpose of performing underwater ESD in colorectal ESD is to obtain buoyancy, good visualization, and make water pressure method easier to perform.
That's all I have to say. Thank you for your attention.